Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Hacksheet onto Wii U so you can auto-boot something of your choice, such as the Homebrew Launcher or a patch system NAND. So to start off, you'll need to buy one of these games on screen now. Currently, Brain Age is the cheapest game out of these that you can buy, so I recommend getting that one. If you already own one of these games, then you can skip this step. So I'm gonna buy the game now. So I bought it, and we'll wait for it to download now. So it's done downloading. And for those of you who download it onto a USB device and not onto your system memory, then you'll need to move it onto the system memory now by going into settings. And you need to do this, so don't skip this step, because your console will brick if you do not do this. So make sure that it is on your system memory, and I recommend go double checking, even if you did install it to the system memory when downloading it. So now you want to remove your Wii U's SD card from your console and put it into your PC. Once you've done that, you should download and extract this folder to your Wii U's SD card. I'll have it linked in the video description as always, so go check that out and download it. Overwrite any files if it asks you to. Once you've done that, we're done with file management, so you can eject the SD card from your PC and put it back into your Wii U. So now you'll need to block updates on your Wii U so it doesn't automatically update again. Go into System Settings and tap on Internet Settings. Click Connect to the Internet, and then click Connections, and then click on the connection you use, and click Change Settings. Scroll over once so you see Auto Obtain DNS, and click Don't Auto Obtain. Type in the DNS that I'm putting in now as primary. Now use the DNS that I'm using as secondary. Hit confirm and save the settings. Do a connection test to ensure that you can still connect to the internet. It should be successful and you can close out of system settings now. If you have any USB devices connected to your Wii U, turn off the console and remove them and then turn it back on. Again, you need to do this, so don't skip this step. Once your home menu is ready, open up the internet browser. If the curtains aren't already open, press the X button to open them. This apparently helps to improve the success rate of the exploit, so I recommend doing that. I also recommend deleting the internet browser save data, because that can also help improve it. Once you're done with all that, type in the URL u.drg.li. It's also on screen too. Once you do that, click number 2 to load exploit 2. This usually is the most successful one, but other ones can also be used. You will crash a lot, so it may take a lot of tries. It took me about 15 tries to finally get it, and when you do get it, you should be inside of the homebrew launcher then. Now scroll over until you see Hacks G Installer. Click on it and then click Load. A list of games that you can install it onto should come up, so using the D-pad, select one of them that you want to install it onto. Then press the A button to install the exploit onto the selected game. Once it's done, the console will then load back into the home menu. Your DS game should be replaced by Hacks G, and if it isn't, then you did something wrong. Hold the A button and then launch the game. Keep it held until you load into the homebrew launcher. Coldboot Hacks G Installer should be on page 1, but if it isn't, scroll over until you find it and then click on it and click Load. Press the A button to install Coldboot Hacks G. It should load you back into the home menu when it's done. Once it's fully loaded into the home menu, turn off your console. At this point, you can put back in any USB devices that you removed from your Wii U. Once that's done, you can turn back on your Wii U, and it should be loaded into a menu with some options. Go to the last option that says Auto Boot Disabled, and use the D-pad to change its value to Auto Boot System Menu. Then go back to the top and press A to boot the system menu. 
Move the hacks she game to the last page of your home menu once it loads so that it doesn't get in the way, because you won't ever have to launch it again. Once you've done that, turn off the console. Now whenever you turn it back on, you should see Hacks G auto-booting whatever you chose. When you see this, you can press the home button to go back into the menu that we were just in. Change the auto-boot to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to auto-boot the homebrew launcher because I like to load TCP Gecko whenever I start my Wii U. Once you've changed the auto-boot function, you can press any of the buttons above it to load into that just that one time while still auto-booting whatever you chose below it. So this is really convenient and it gives you a lot of options so that you can load whatever you want to while auto-booting something else. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, comment if you need help or if you want to help anyone else out, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you next time.